The envelope trembled in Samantha Ray's hands as she stood in the shadowed alcove of her father's study, the weight of its contents threatening to buckle her knees. Late afternoon sun slanted through the beveled glass windows, catching motes of dust in its honey-gold beams, but Samantha felt no warmth, only a creeping, insidious cold. Her breath shuddered out, echoing too loudly in the oppressive hush. She shouldn't be here, in this inner sanctum where her father, the formidable business magnate Vincent Ray, conducted his most private affairs. Especially not on the eve of her wedding to his hand-picked successor, James Prescott. Li. But suspicion had driven her, a niggling unease that had plagued her for weeks as James' smooth facade slipped in unguarded moments. A flash of cruelty in his eyes, a sneer twisting his chiseled lips when he thought she wasn't looking. Suspicion that had led her to slip into this forbidden space, to rifle through drawers and files until she found this. With shaking fingers, she slid the damning documents from the envelope. Bank statements, cargo manifests, encrypted emails, all painting a sordid picture of her golden fiancé's true nature. Illegal arms dealing. Money laundering. Donnowing. Bribery. Of officials. Her father's company was a front for criminal enterprise, and James, the man she was to wed in mere hours, was neck deep in it all. Bile rose in her throat as the papers fluttered from her numb grasp, stark black and white against the dark walnut floorboards. Her whole life, a glittering lie. Her father, a kingpin. Her future husband, a monster in bespoke Brioni. And she, the naive pawn, a biddable bridge between two corrupt dynasties. Anger flared, white hot. Then terror, icy and inexorable. They would never let her walk away, knowing what she knew. They would lock her in a gilded cage, a pretty puppet dancing on their strings. Unless... Voices sounded in the hall, jarring her from her desperate thoughts. Her father's baritone, clipped and authoritative. And James, his cultured tones oozing, false bonhomie. Heart pounding, Samantha scooped up the fallen pages, stuffing them back in the envelope. Her gaze darted to the windows, to the manicured gardens and wrought iron gates beyond, and the city streets pulsing with fading daylight. The voices grew louder, footsteps tapping on marble. Fight or flight? The choice crystallized with primal clarity. Crossing to the window, she slid it open, inhaling petrichor and cut grass, freedom and fear. The study door clicked open and she froze, the envelope clutched to her chest. In the wavery reflection of the glass, her father and James stood framed in the doorway, faces morphing from conviviality to shock to fury as they registered her presence, the damning papers in her hand. Samantha, her father growled, stalking forward. What the hell are you? She didn't wait to hear the rest. In one fluid motion, she hefted herself over the sill, Louboutin heels sinking into the soft dirt of the flowerbed. Then she was running. Envelope hugged close as angry shouts echoed behind her, the joyous peals of wedding bells from the chapel across the grounds twisting into a mocking dirge. Betrayed. Hunted. The heiress fled into the dying light, the last traces of her gilded illusion shattering in her wake. Lungs burning, muscles screaming, Samantha pelted across the manicured lawns of the Ray estate, her father's furious bellow still ringing in her ears. The ivory silk and lace of her wedding gown snagged on the reaching claws of topiary hedges, pearl buttons popping free and pattering to the ground like scattered marbles. She didn't dare look back, didn't dare slow the frantic staccato of her steps. She knew what she would see, her father's goons spilling from the mansion like ants from a kicked hill, tasked with dragging the wayward bride back to the altar and the horror that awaited her there. Her Louboutins, those totems of her privileged past, of the debutante balls and charity galas, where she'd played her role of dutiful daughter, with practice poise, pinched and chafed. Gritting her teeth, she kicked them off mid-stride, not breaking pace as her stocking-clad feet slapped against sun-warmed flagstones. The envelope, damningly heavy, was still clutched in her sweat-slick grip, proof of her fiancé's true nature of the rot at the core of her family's glittering empire. 
Byla scalded the back of her throat as she recalled James's unctuous smile, the possessive grip of his fingers on her waist as he'd waltzed her around the parquet floor of the ballroom. Near days ago, accepting congratulations and clinking champagne flutes with their friends, all while blood money lined his pockets. A shout, far too close. The slap of Italian leather on pavers. She risked a glance over her shoulder, and her heart seized. Two of her father's security detail, all buzz cuts and bulging suits were gaining ground, their eyes flat and intent on their fleeing quarry. Panic gave her a fresh burst of speed, terror and adrenaline mingling in her veins like a potent cocktail. The wrought iron gates, the boundary between the raised cultured acres and the chaos of the city beyond, loomed ahead, penned by the same stone wall she'd spent her childhood clandestinely, scaling for midnight jaunts and illicit rendezvous. But there would be no stolen kisses waiting for her on the other side this time. Only uncertainty and the ragged hope of escape. Samantha hit the wall at a run, scrabbling for purchase on the rough-hewn stone. The heavy envelope made her clumsy, the delicate fabric of her gown ripping as it caught on the masonry. She felt her shin scrape hot blood welling, but she scrambled upward, breath coming in shallow gasps. Stop! Now! The closest goon, a barrel-chested brute who'd always unnerved her with his dead-eyed stare, made a grab for her billowing hem. Fabric tore. Buttons flew. But his grasping fingers closed on air as, with a final heave, Samantha crested the wall and tumbled into the relative safety of the alleyway beyond. For a moment, she simply lay there on the grimy concrete, chest heaving as the adrenaline-fueled strength seeped from her trembling limbs. The goons cursed and shouted on the other side of the wall, but the stone was too high, too smooth for their bulk, buying her precious seconds to collect herself, to plan her next move. Overhead, the sky bled from azure to indigo, the encroaching darkness both a threat and a blessing. She couldn't go home, couldn't seek sanctuary with friends, all of whom were bought and paid for by her father's tainted largesse. And James, the mere thought of her once adored fiancé made her shudder with revulsion and dread. She needed to run, to disappear, but she couldn't do it alone. Slowly, wincing at the pull of a braided skin and bruised bones, Samantha pushed to her feet. The envelope had survived the mad dash and the graceless scaling of the wall, though it was a bit worse for wear. She smoothed it against her ruined skirts, fingers trembling. Then, with a deep breath, she turned towards the pulsing heart of the city a tattered bride clutching the sins of her family to her breast like a macabre bouquet. As she limped into the alleyway shadows, a face flashed in her mind. Square-jawed and commanding, eyes the color of a winter sky, and twice as flinty. The face of the only man she trusted, the only man who could help her now. Her father's former head of security. Her girlhood crush. The forbidden love she could never quite shake. Elijah Stone cliffhanger. Navigating by instinct and the intermittent neon spill of street signs, Samantha wove through the urban labyrinth, flinching at every shout and squeal of tires, certain her father's men were closing in. The address was seared in her memory, though she'd never had reason to seek it out. Until tonight. Lungs burning, she crossed a final trash-strewn street and hauled herself up the steps of a brownstone walk-up, each breath sharding her throat. This was it. No turning back. With a shaking hand, she pressed the buzzer, any hope of composure lost as the intercom crackled to life. Who is it? The voice, sleep-roughened but achingly familiar, made her sag against the doorframe. Elijah, she managed through chattering teeth. It's Samantha. I know it's late, but I'm in trouble. I need your help. A charged pause. The longest of her life. Then, the door lock disengaged with a buzz and a click. Hardly daring to breathe, Samantha stepped into the shadowed foyer, the door swinging shut at her back with a thud of finality. She had escaped the gilded cage of her past. But as heavy footsteps sounded on the stairs above, as the man descending towards her came into view, all lethal grace and coiled strength, she realized the perils that lay ahead, 
might be even more dangerous. Because the feelings she'd buried, the desire she'd suppressed, they were about to become the most deadly threat of all. Elijah Stone, clad in a worn t-shirt and faded jeans, regarded Samantha with a mix of wariness and concern as she stood shivering on his doorstep, the remnants of her once resplendent gown hanging off her in tattered shreds. His gaze flicked over her, taking in the scrapes, the bruises, the wild desperation in her eyes, and something in his chiseled face tightened. Jesus, Samantha, he muttered, stepping back to allow her entry. What? What the hell happened to you? She stumbled past him, the adrenaline that had fueled her flight draining away and leaving exhaustion in its wake. I... I found out something. Something terrible. About my father. About James. Her voice cracked on her fiancé's name, and Elijah's jaw clenched, his large hands flexing at his sides as if aching to ball into fists. He'd never made a secret his disdain for the man Samantha's father had chosen as her husband, but he'd kept his counsel, respecting the boundaries of their relationship. Bodyguard and boss's daughter. Protector and protectee. Never anything more. No matter how much her younger self had wished otherwise. Start from the beginning, he said, guiding her to a battered couch. The apartment was sparse, utilitarian, so at odds with the opulent spaces she was accustomed to. But there was a warmth here, a sense of sanctuary that seeped into her bones as she sank onto the cushions. With halting words, she laid out the sordid tale, the documents that had shattered her world and sent her fleeing into the night. Elijah listened, his expression inscrutable. But she could read the tension in the rigid lines of his body, the tick of a muscle in his tightly clenched jaw. When she finished, chest heaving with the effort of her confession, he remained silent for a long moment, his gaze distant. Then, with a sigh that seemed to come from the soles of his feet, he crouched before her, taking her cold hands in his large, warm ones. This is... Uh, no. A lot, Samantha. What you've uncovered, it's big. Dangerous. His calloused thumbs swept over her knuckles, sending frissons of heat up her arms despite the gravity of the moment. You did the right thing coming to me. I'll keep you safe. I promise. Tears, hot and stinging, blurred her vision. I didn't know where else to go. Who else to trust? She swallowed hard meeting his gaze. In the muted lamplight, his eyes were the color of a storm-tossed sea, fathomless and intense. You're the only one I trust, Elijah. The only one I've ever heard. She bit her lip, the words she'd kept locked away for so long straining against her teeth. His hands tightened on hers, his gaze searching her face as if trying to read the secrets scrawled upon her very skin. Samantha, he murmured, and the way he said her name, low and rough, made her breath hitch. You know we can't. It's not right. I'm too old for you, and your father. I don't care, she whispered fiercely, leaning forward until their foreheads nearly touched. I don't care about the age difference, or what my father thinks. Not anymore. She lifted a hand, trembling fingers grazing the stubbled line of his jaw. All these years, Elijah. It's always been you. I tried to deny it, to bury it. But almost marrying James, discovering the truth, it made me realize. Life's too short and too cruel to let fear keep me from what I want. From who I love. His breath shuddered out, his eyes slipping closed as he leaned into her touch. Samantha, if we cross this line, we'll face it, she vowed, heart pounding with a heady mix of terror and exhilaration. Together. Do you? Please, Elijah. His control snapped. With a groan that seemed torn from his very soul, he surged forward, capturing her lips in a kiss that was at once fierce and achingly tender. Samantha gasped into his mouth, her fingers sliding into his hair, nails scraping his scalp as she returned the kiss with all the pent-up longing of years of stolen glances and suppressed desire. His arms banded around her, pulling her flush against the hard planes of his body. She could feel the thunder of his heartbeat, echoing her own, as his tongue swept into her mouth, tasting, claiming. 
It was everything she'd ever dreamed of, and more, heat and hunger, and a soul-deep sense of rightness. Until reality crashed back in with the shrill of a phone, shattering the moment like a hurled stone through a stained glass window. Elijah tore his mouth from hers, chest heaving, eyes wild. He fumbled for his cell, cursing under his breath as he checked the screen. Then all color drained from his face. It's your father, he said grimly, holding the phone out for her to see. He knows you're here, and he's giving me one chance to return his property before he sends in the cavalry and burns my life down around my ears. Cliffhanger. Samantha stared at the screen, her father's name blazing up at her like an accusation. Her heart felt like a bird, trapped and fluttering frantically against the cage of her ribs. How had he found her so quickly? She thought she'd been careful, thought she'd covered her tracks. Unless... A chill skittered down her spine. Unless someone had told him. Someone who knew about her history with Elijah, about the unspoken connection that had always simmered between them. Her mind raced, puzzle pieces, slotting into place with sickening clarity. The looks. The veiled comments. The threats cloaked in fatherly concern. James, she whispered, horror dawning. He knew. All this time, he knew how I felt about you. He must have had me followed, waiting for me to lead him to you. Elijah's face was a mask of barely contained fury, his grip on the phone white-knuckled. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. No. Samantha clutched at his arm, nails biting into corded muscle. Elijah, please. That's exactly what they want. Don't you see? This is all a trap. And we just walked right into it. As if on cue, the sound of screeching tires and slamming doors echoed from the street below. Heavy footsteps pounded on the stairs, drawing closer with each hammering heartbeat. Elijah and Samantha stared at each other, the gravity of their situation descending like a suffocating shroud. They were cornered, outmanned, and out of options. Or were they? Elijah's gaze hardened, a steely resolve settling over his features. He reached out, calloused fingers brushing her cheek with a tenderness that belied the coiled tension of his frame. Do you trust me, Samantha? He asked, his voice low and intense. She swallowed hard, leaning into his touch like it was the only solid thing in a world turned to quicksand. With my life. His jaw tightened, a muscle ticking beneath the stubbled skin. Then, run. Before she could react, he was shoving something into her hands, keys, cool and jagged against her palm. There's a fire escape out the back window. Take my truck, the old Ford in the alley. Drive north, don't stop, until you cross the state line. I'll find you. What? Samantha shook her head frantically, panic clawing up her throat. No, I'm not leaving you. Elijah, I'll hold them off. He cut her off, his tone brooking no argument, even as his eyes burned into hers, conveying a wealth of unspoken emotion. I'll buy you as much time as I can. But you need to go now, before it's too late. Tears blurred her vision, hot and stinging. This couldn't be happening. She just found him, just held him, just tasted the forbidden fruit of a love too long denied. To be torn away now with so much still unsaid. But the pounding on the stairs grew louder, the muffled shouts of police. Open up! slicing through the charged air. And in the fractured light of Elijah's grim, beloved face, Samantha knew. To stay would be to surrender. To the gilded cage of her past, to the machinations of men who saw her as a pawn, a possession. And in surrendering, she would destroy not only herself, but the man she loved. Elijah. Her protector. Her savior. Her heart. With a choked sob, she fisted her hand in his shirt, dragging his mouth down to hers in a fierce, desperate kiss. A kiss of love and anguish, of promises broken and renewed. A kiss goodbye. Then, before the salt of her tears could mingle with the taste of him on her lips, she was wrenching away, stumbling towards the back of the apartment as the first echoing boom of a battering ram shuddered through the door. She ran, 
Vision blurred and heart shattering, Elijah's shout of go, go, chasing her heels like a mocking specter. She didn't look back as she scrabbled out the window, as her bare feet hit the icy slats of the fire escape. Didn't dare, lest the sight of him standing alone, a one-man bulwark between her and the wolves at the door, crumble her resolve. The night swallowed her as she dropped into the alley, cold and merciless. The truck keys bit into her palm, a talisman of Elijah's sacrifice, his love. With a shaking hand, she unlocked the door, the old hinges screaming in protest as she hauled herself up into the cab. The engine caught on the first try, the roar of the old diesel lending her courage as she peeled out into the dark streets. In the rearview mirror, the glow of Elijah's window was briefly blotted out by shadow and movement, a writhing mass that made her heart seize with dread. Then she was turning the corner, tires squealing, and the brownstone faded from view, taking with it the only man she'd ever loved, the other half of herself. Tears streamed down her cheeks, unchecked as she pointed the truck north, the envelope of deadly secrets tucked into her bodice like a poisoned pledge. Ahead lay uncertainty, danger, and a lonely road unspooling beneath the uncaring stars. But she would drive on. She would run, and keep running. Until Elijah found her or until she found a way to save them both from the sins of her father. Whichever came first in this twisted game of love, lies, and betrayal. The highway stretched before Samantha, a ribbon of asphalt cutting through the inky night. She drove with single-minded focus, knuckles white on the steering wheel, the events of the past few hours playing on a relentless loop in her mind. Elijah's kiss, searing and desperate. Pounding at the door, the shouts of the men come to drag her back to her gilded prison. The wrenching pain of leaving him behind, of not knowing if she would ever see him again. A sob tore from her throat, raw and jagged. She couldn't think about that. Couldn't afford to. She had to keep moving, put as much distance as possible between herself and the city that had birthed and betrayed her. But where now? Of your meal. Who could she turn to when everyone she'd ever known was in her father's pocket? Or James? The enormity of her situation crashed over her like a frigid wave, stealing her breath and chilling her to the marrow. She was alone. Hunted. And the only allies she had were an envelope full of damning secrets and a battered old truck that smelled of gun oil and Elijah's aftershave. As if summoned by her thoughts, her cell phone buzzed in the cup holder, making her jump. Hard in her throat, she glanced at the screen, half expecting to see her father's number, or James. But the display showed unknown caller. Pulse pounding, she hit accept. Hello? Drive faster, princess. The voice was muffled, distorted, but achingly familiar. Relief rushed through her like a drug. Elijah. Oh God, are you all right? What happened? The questions tumbled out, tripping over each other in their haste. A grunt, the sound of shifting fabric. I'm fine. Bruised and battered, but I'll live. A pause, weighted with unspoken emotion. Are you safe? I... I think so. For now. No. She glanced in the rear view, half expecting to see headlights bearing down on her. Elijah, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, where to go. I know, baby. I know. The endearment so natural on his tongue made her heart stutter. But you've got to stay strong. You've got to keep running. Running where? There's a town, about four hours north of the city. Willowbrook.i. An old friend of mine lives there, Nate Carver. Ex-Special Forces? Off the grid. He'll help you, give you a place to lay low until I can get to you. Samantha nodded then realized he couldn't see her. Okay. Okay, I can do that. She took a deep, shuddering breath, trying to center herself. What about you? How will you find me? A wry chuckle, crackling down the line. I'll always find you, Samantha. No matter what it takes, no matter who I have to go through. I'll come for you. His voice dropped, intimate and intense. I love you, Samantha Ray. I should have told you years ago. Should have fought for you. Consequences be damned. But I'm telling you now. 
and I'll keep telling you, every day, for the rest of our lives. If you'll have me. Tears blurred the road, hot and sweet. I love you too, Elijah Stone. I always have. I always will. Then, drive, my love. Drive and don't look back. I'll see you soon. The line went dead, but Samantha could still feel the echo of his words, wrapping around her heart like armor. Like a promise. She drove. The sun was just cresting the horizon, painting the sky in streaks of orange and gold, when she passed the sign for Willowbrook. The town was like something out of a Norman Rockwell painting, all quaint storefronts and tree-lined streets. It was jarring, this pocket of normalcy after the chaos of the past 24 hours. Following Elijah's directions, she navigated to the outskirts, where the neat houses gave way to sprawling fields and dense woods. There, at the end of a long, winding drive, sat a cabin, smoke curling lazily from the stone chimney. Samantha pulled the truck to a stop, exhaustion settling over her like a leaden cloak as the adrenaline of the long drive drained away. She dragged herself from the cab on numb legs, the gravel of the drive biting into her bare feet as she stumbled towards the porch. She had barely raised her fist to knock when the door swung open, revealing a man who looked like he'd been hewn from the same rugged wilderness that surrounded them. Tall and broad with a salt-and-peppered beard and eyes that had seen too much, he regarded her with a mix of wariness and understanding. You must be Samantha, he said, his voice a low rumble. Elijah said you were coming. At the mention of Elijah's name, the last of her composure crumbled. A strangled sob tore from her throat as her knees buckled, the events of the past day crashing over her like a tidal wave. Strong arms caught her before she could hit the ground, scooping her up like she weighed nothing. As her vision tunneled to black, she heard Nate's gruff voice, oddly gentle. Easy now, girl. I've got you. You're safe here. And then, blessedly, there was only darkness. And silence. Samantha awoke slowly, awareness filtering in through a haze of exhaustion. She was warm, the surface beneath her soft and yielding. A bed, her sluggish mind supplied. Memory slammed into her like a freight train. The envelope, the flight from the city. Elijah's kiss, his promise. The long, lonely drive, collapsing into Nate's arms. She jackknifed upright, heart pounding. The room spun around her and she clutched at the quilt, trying to get her bearings. Rustic furniture, faded wallpaper, lace curtains fluttering at an open window. The cabin. A creak of floorboards made her head snap towards the door. It swung open to reveal Nate, a steaming mug in hand. He paused on the threshold, taking in her wild-eyed expression, the quilt clutched to her chest like a shield. Easy, he soothed, holding up a hand. It's just me. You're okay. Samantha swallowed hard, trying to calm her racing heart. How, how long was I out? About 14 hours. He crossed to the bedside table, setting down the mug. The rich scent of coffee wafted towards her, making her stomach clench with sudden, ravenous hunger. You were dead on your feet. Figured it was best to let you sleep. She nodded, reaching for the mug with shaking hands. The first sip scalded her tongue, but she relished the burn, the bitterness chasing away the cobwebs in her brain. Has there been any word? She asked, hating the tremor in her voice. From Elijah? Pain flickered in Nate's eyes, there and gone. He shook his head. Not yet. Not. But no news is good news in situations like this. Situations like this. The words echoed in her mind, surreal. Was this her reality now? A life of hiding, of looking over her shoulder, never knowing who to trust or where the next threat would come from. Despair rose like bile in her throat. What if Elijah never came? What if her father found her first? What if, what if? A large calloused hand covered hers, stilling the tremors. Nate crouched before her, his gaze steady and sure. Hey, hey, don't go down that road. Elijah's the toughest, most resourceful bastard I know. If anyone can get to you, it's him. Samantha drew a shuddering breath, 
clinging to his words like a lifeline. I just, I feel so helpless, so useless. I ran away and left him to face my demons alone. You did what you had to do. Nate's voice was firm, brooking no argument. What Elijah wanted you to do. The best thing you can do for him now is stay safe and stay strong. So when the time comes, you're ready to fight. Fight. The word sent a thrill down her spine, chasing away the numb fog of despair. She was done running, done being a pawn in her father's twisted games. It was time to take back her life, her future, her love. Squaring her shoulders, she met Nate's gaze head on, a newfound resolve hardening her features. Teach me, she said simply. Teach me how to fight. A slow, approving smile spread across Nate's weathered face. He straightened, offering her a hand. Now that's more like it. Over the next days, Samantha threw herself into training with a single-minded intensity. Nate was a relentless taskmaster, drilling her in hand-to-hand -hand combat, firearms, surveillance evasion. She pushed her body to its limits and beyond, collapsing into bed each night sore and exhausted, but with a grim sense of satisfaction. She was done being a victim. Done being afraid. With every bruise, every aching muscle, she felt herself transforming, becoming someone new. Someone strong. Someone worthy of the love of a man like Elijah Stone. Elijah. Dot. Two. His absence was a constant ache, a hole in her chest that no amount of sweat or exertion could fill. But she held tight to his last words to her, playing them over and over in her mind like a talisman. I'll always find you, Samantha. No matter what it takes, no matter who I have to go through, I'll come for you. She had to believe that. Had to trust in their love, in the bond that had weathered years of denial and sacrifice. So she trained. She planned. And she waited, the envelope of secrets burning a hole in her soul. Until the day the waiting ended and the world tilted on its axis once more. It started with a phone call. Nate's cell, ringing shrilly in the Pradon hush. Samantha jolted awake, instantly alert, as Nate snatched it up with a terse greeting. She watched his face as he listened, hope and dread warring in her chest. When he ended the call, turning to her with eyes that were at once triumphant and grim, she knew. It's time, he said simply. Elijah's on his way. And he's not alone. Her heart leapt, even as cold fingers of foreboding trailed down her spine. What do you mean, not alone? Nate's jaw tightened. He's got intel. On your father's operation. And a plan to take it down, once and for all. Samantha's breath caught. This was it. The moment she'd been both dreading and longing for. The chance to face her demons head on, to reclaim her life and her love. No more running. No more hiding. It was time to fight. Cliffhanger. The sun was setting, painting the sky in violent streaks of crimson and gold, when the sound of tires on gravel shattered the tense hush that had settled over the cabin. Samantha's heart hammered against her ribs as she peered through the curtains, Nate a solid presence at her back. A black SUV rolled to a stop, dust billowing in its wake. For a moment, everything was still, suspended in breathless anticipation. Then the door swung open, and Elijah unfolded from the driver's seat, all coiled strength and lethal grace. Samantha drank in the sight of him, the bruises shadowing his jaw, the grim set of his mouth, the fire in his eyes as they locked with hers through the glass. He was here, battered but unbroken, just as he'd promised. She was moving before a conscious thought could catch up, flinging open the door and flying down the steps. Elijah met her halfway, catching her up in arms that were at once foreign and achingly familiar, crushing her to his chest as though he could absorb her into his very skin. For a long moment, they just clung to each other, breathing in the scent and feel of home, of love too long denied. Then Elijah was tilting her face up to his, claiming her mouth in a kiss that was at once fierce and unbearably tender. A silent vow renewed with each slide of lips and tangle of tongues. When they finally broke apart, chests heaving, Samantha was startled to find her cheeks wet with tears. 
She reached up to cup Elijah's face, marveling at the solid realness of him. You came, she whispered, wonder and relief and love cracking her voice. You found me. Always, he rasped, turning his head to press a kiss to her palm. I will always find you, Samantha. No matter what. The crunch of gravel made them turn, Elijah instinctively tucking Samantha behind him. But it was Nate who emerged from the cabin, a question in the tilt of his head. Elijah nodded, squaring his shoulders as if bracing for a blow. It's time, he said, an echo of Nate's earlier words. We've got work to do. He turned back to Samantha, his expression at once tender and resolute. Your father's operation, his whole corrupt empire. We're going to burn it to the ground. But we need your help. Samantha's heart quickened, a heady mix of fear and exhilaration humming through her veins. This was it. The chance she'd been waiting for, training for. The chance to fight back against the men who had sought to control her, to claim her like a possession. The chance to reclaim her life, on her own terms. She met Elijah's gaze, steadily, feeling the answering flare of determination in her own. Tell me what I need to do. But before Elijah could respond, another figure emerged from the SUV, moving with the easy arrogant stride of a man accustomed to power. A man who made Samantha's blood run cold with recognition and dread. Well, well, drawled a voice. She knew all too well, smooth as honey and sharp as a blade. Isn't this cozy? James. Samantha stared in mute horror as her former fiancé sauntered towards them, a smirk playing about his cruel, sensual mouth. Gone was the polished veneer of the cultured businessman, replaced by something far more sinister, more. He looked like a man with nothing left to lose. And that made him infinitely more dangerous. Elijah shifted, placing himself squarely between Samantha and the approaching threat. What the hell are you doing here, Prescott? He growled, voice low and deadly. James chuckled, the sound devoid of humor. Come now, Elijah. You didn't really think you could steal my bride away without consequences, did you? His gaze slid past Elijah, locking onto Samantha with predatory intent. Hello, darling. Miss me? Samantha's heart pounded a frantic staccato against her ribs as she stared at James, the man she'd once thought she loved, now transformed into a living nightmare. His eyes, once so warm and inviting, glittered with a cold, obsessive light that chilled her to her marrow. What do you want, James? She demanded, proud of the way her voice remained steady despite the fear churning in her gut. James smiled, a slow, cruel curve of lips. Why, I want what's mine, of course. And you, my dear Samantha? Belong to me, Elijah snarled, a sound of pure, protective rage. She belongs to no one, least of all a psychopath like you. James tutted, shaking his head in mock disappointment. Ah, Elijah, ever the white knight. But you're too late. Samantha's fate was sealed the moment she was born a ray. She's a part of this, whether she likes it or not. I am not a pawn. Samantha snapped, stepping out from behind Elijah to face James head on. Not anymore. I know the truth, James. About you, about my father. And I won't let you control me ever again. Something flickered in James's eyes, a flash of surprise quickly subsumed by a darker emotion. Bold words, darling. But I'm afraid you don't have a choice. He reached into his suit jacket and Samantha tensed, expecting a gun. But what he withdrew was far more insidious. A sheaf of papers, tied with a familiar red ribbon. Her father's last will and testament. James smiled at her shock, a shark scenting blood in the water. Surprised? Oh, yes. Your dear papa made some changes before his untimely demise. Samantha's world tilted, the ground shifting beneath her feet. What are you talking about? Your father had an accident last night, James said, voice dripping with false sympathy. A terrible, tragic accident. He was found at the bottom of the stairs, neck, broken. Such a shame. Samantha swayed, bile rising in her throat. Her father, dead? It couldn't be. This had to be another of James's twisted games. 
but the gleam of dark satisfaction in his eyes told a different story. Elijah's hand found hers, anchoring her. She clung to him, to the solid strength of his grip, as James continued. With your father gone, his estate, his company, everything, it all falls to you, Samantha. But only if you fulfill the conditions of his will. Conditions that, as his lawyer, I helped him draft. Understanding crashed over Samantha like a frigid wave, stealing her breath. No. Oh, yes, James purred. In order to inherit, you must marry me. Today? Or everything your family built, everything your father died for, goes to our nearest male relative. Your charming cousin, Richard? Samantha's head spun. Richard, the cruel, grasping snake who'd tormented her as a child, who'd made no secret of his desire for her father's wealth and power. If he gained control... Oh, of course there's another option, James mused, examining his nails with feigned nonchalance. You could simply... disappear. Leave it all behind. Let dear Richard take the reins while you play house with your attack dog here. He flicked a contemptuous glance at Elijah. Samantha's heart seized. To abandon her family's legacy, tainted as it was, to a monster like Richard. She couldn't. Too many people depended on the jobs, the philanthropy. Innocence would suffer. But, to marry James, to tie herself to him forever. The very thought made her soul recoil in horror. Tick-tock, darling, James said, holding up his wrist to tap an imaginary watch. The clock is running out. What will it be? A life of luxury and power as my wife? Or a coward's exile, knowing you abandoned your birthright to a man who will destroy everything your ancestors built? Samantha's vision swam, tears of rage and despair burning her eyes. It wasn't fair. She'd fought so hard, come so far only to be faced with an impossible choice. Elijah's grip tightened on her hand, his thumbs stroking over her knuckles. She looked up at him, at the man she loved more than her own life. The man who'd risk everything to save her, to free her from the gilded cage of her past. In his eyes, she saw her own anguish reflected back at her. But beneath that, burning bright and steady, was a fierce, unwavering love. A love that said, I'm with you, no matter what. We'll face this together. Yee. And in that moment, staring into the blue flame of Elijah's gaze, Samantha knew. She knew what she had to do. Squaring her shoulders, she turned back to James, a calm settling over her even as her heart raced. No. Yay. James blinked, nonplussed. No. No, Samantha repeated, stronger now. I won't marry you, James. Not today, not ever. And I won't let Richard destroy my family's legacy either. She reached into the pocket of her borrowed jeans, fingers closing around the hard edges of a USB drive. The drive Elijah had pressed into her hand just before James's arrival, his eyes urgent and meaningful. You see, she said, holding up the drive, I have evidence, evidence of your crimes and my father's. Every dirty deal, every bribe, every threat. It's all here. James's eyes widened, shock quickly giving way to fury. You're bluffing. You couldn't possibly, at. Couldn't I? Samantha cut him off, voice ringing with a confidence she hardly recognized. I've spent my life watching you, James. Learning your secrets, even as you thought me a pretty, empty-headed pawn. But you underestimated me. You all did. She took a step forward, then another, until she was toe-to-toe -to -toe with the man who had haunted her nightmares. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to walk away. You're going to disappear and never come near me or my family again. Or this drive finds its way to the FBI. James's face mottled with rage, his fists clenching at his sides. For a moment, Samantha thought he might strike her. But then, to her shock, he laughed. A harsh, ugly sound. You think you've won? He sneered, spittle flying from his lips. You think this is over? I'll destroy you, Samantha. I'll burn your whole world down around you and dance in the ashes. He lunged, 
hands outstretched like claws. But Elijah was faster. With a blur of motion, he had James on the ground, arm wrenched behind his back and knee pressing into his spine. I'd think very carefully about my next move if I were you, Prescott. Elijah growled, tightening his grip until James whimpered. The lady gave you an out. I suggest you take it, while you still can. For a tense, breathless moment, no one moved. Then, slowly, the fight drained from James's body. He went limp beneath Elijah, all his arrogance and bluster snuffed out like a candle. Fine, he spat, voice muffled against the dirt. You win, Samantha. Enjoy your victory, while it lasts. Because I promise you, this isn't over. Not by a long shot. Elijah hauled him to his feet, shoving him towards the SUV. Start driving, Prescott. And pray we never see your face again. James stumbled, catching himself on the door handle. He cast one last venomous glare over his shoulder, eyes promising retribution. Then he was gone, tires spraying gravel as he peeled out into the gathering dusk. Silence descended, broken only by the pounding of Samantha's heart in her ears. She stared at the space where James had been, hardly daring to believe it. Was it really over? Had she truly won? Then Elijah was there, gathering her into his arms, and the dam broke. Great. Racking sobs tore from her throat as she clung to him, all the fear and pain and desperate, clawing hope pouring out of her in a torrent. Elijah held her through it, murmuring softly into her hair. I've got you, he breathed, over and over. I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. When the storm passed, leaving her spent and hollow, Samantha lifted her tear-streaked face to his. Is it really over? she whispered, hardly daring to hope. Elijah brushed a thumb over her cheekbone, infinite tenderness in his touch. The battle is, he said softly. But the war? That's just beginning. At her questioning look, he continued. Your father's death, James's departure. It leaves a power vacuum, one that many will seek to fill, by fair means or foul. Samantha's heart sank the weight of her legacy settling heavily on her shoulders once more. But then Elijah was tipping her chin up, making her meet his steady gaze. But this time, you won't face it alone. I'll be with you, every step of the way. We'll clean house, root out the corruption, and build something new. Something good. Together. Gwenenja. The word rang in the cooling air, a vow and a promise. Together. The way they were always meant to be. Samantha's heart swelled, love and gratitude and fierce, unshakable resolve filling her up until she thought she might burst with it. This man, this incredible, brave, loyal man. Da, and it is. He was hers. And she was his, in a way she'd never been anyone else's. Together, she echoed, sealing the pact with a kiss that held the weight of a future unfolding. A future they would forge, hand in hand and heart to heart. When they parted, a smile was blooming on Samantha's lips, small but true. The road ahead would be long and hard, fraught with challenges and enemies at every turn. But with Elijah by her side, she felt capable of anything. She was Samantha Ray, heiress survivor fighter, and she was done running from her destiny. It was time to turn and face the oncoming storm to reclaim her birthright and shape it into something new, something untainted by the sins of the past. And she would do it as she'd done everything else, with courage, determination, and the steadfast love of the man who'd saved her, in every way a person could be saved. Cliffhanger. The sun had long set by the time Elijah and Samantha bid farewell to Nate, the grizzled warrior clasping Elijah's hand and pulling Samantha into a gruff, surprising hug. You keep fighting, girl, he murmured, eyes suspiciously bright in the porch light. And when you need me, I'll be there. We all will. With a final nod, he disappeared into the house, leaving Samantha and Elijah alone under the canopy of stars. For a moment, they simply held each other, savoring the peace, the rightness of being in each other's arms. Then Elijah was leading her to his jeep, fingers laced with hers. 
Ready to go home? He asked, eyes soft. Samantha smiled. Um, fly home. For so long, that word had meant gilded cages and suffocating expectations. But now, looking at Elijah, she understood. Home wasn't a place. It was a person. The one your soul recognized as its own. With you? She said, squeezing his hand. Always. They climbed into the jeep, the engine rumbling to life beneath them. As Elijah turned them towards the city, towards the battle waiting on the horizon, Samantha reached into her pocket, fingers brushing the edges of the drive that held the keys to her family's future. And the envelope, worn and creased, that had started it all. Secrets and lies, greed and corruption. It had festered in the heart of the Ray Empire for generations, a poison in the blood. But no more. As Elijah's hand found hers over the console, strong and sure, Samantha made a silent vow. To her father, to herself, to the generations to come. She would be the antidote. The force for change, for healing. She would take back what was hers and make it something to be proud of. A legacy of light, not darkness. It wouldn't be easy. The ghosts of the past, the threats of the present, they would dog her every step. But she was ready. Ready to rise, to fight, to lead. And with Elijah by her side, she knew she could face anything. Even the truth that waited at the end of the road. The truth she'd glimpsed in the margins of her father's will, in the whispered secrets of her childhood. The truth of her mother's death so many years ago. A death that, she now suspected, was no accident. A mystery that could shatter everything she thought she knew, or finally set her free. The ghosts were calling. It was time to answer. With a deep breath and a resolute nod, Samantha squeezed Elijah's hand, a wordless promise. Then she turned her gaze to the road ahead, to the city lights glimmering in the distance. To the future, uncertain but full of promise. And to the fight waiting just over the horizon. It was time to go home. And time to finally, irrevocably, seize her destiny with both hands. The city stretched out before Samantha, a glittering jewel against the velvet darkness of the night sky. From her perch on the balcony of her father's, no, her, penthouse, she could see the pulsing heartbeat of the metropolis, the dance of headlights and neon, the shimmer of the river winding like a ribbon of black silk. It was a view she'd admired a thousand times, but never like this. Never with the weight of the past lifted from her shoulders, the promise of the future unfurling at her feet. Six months. That's how long it had been since that fateful night at Nate's cabin, when she'd faced down her demons and emerged victorious. Six months of hard work, of long days and longer nights, of battles won and lost in the boardroom and the courtroom. But it had been worth it. Every bead of sweat, every sleepless night, every moment of doubt and fear and bone-deep exhaustion. Because piece by piece, deal by deal, she'd rebuilt her family's empire. Not in her father's image, but in her own. The Ray name once again commanded respect, but this time, it was a respect earned through integrity, through compassion, through a fierce commitment to righting the wrongs of the past. James was gone, exiled to some far-flung corner of the globe, his power and influence nothing but a bitter memory. Richard, too, had been vanquished, his schemes unraveled and his malice brought to light. And Elisha. Samantha's heart swelled, a warm tide of love and gratitude washing over her. Elijah had been her rock, her anchor, her north star through it all. Never wavering, never faltering, even in the darkest of moments. With his keen mind and loyal heart, he'd been instrumental in her success, standing proud at her side as she clawed her way to the top. Not as her subordinate, but as her equal. Her partner, in every sense of the word. The sound of the balcony door sliding open behind her pulled Samantha from her reverie. She didn't need to turn to know who it was. She'd know the cadence of his steps, the rhythm of his breath, in any lifetime. Strong arms wrapped around her from behind, pulling her back against a solid chest. Samantha leaned into the embrace, savoring the warmth, the rightness of it. Penny for your thoughts, Elijah murmured, his breath stirring the hair at her temple. 
Samantha smiled, tilting her head back to meet his gaze. In the soft light spilling from the penthouse, his eyes were the color of a summer sky, bright and clear and full of promise. I was just thinking, she said softly, about how far we've come. How much has changed? Elijah hummed, pressing a kiss to her hair. You've done the impossible, love. You've taken a poisoned chalice and transformed it into something beautiful. Something good. We did it, Samantha corrected, twining her fingers with his where they rested on her stomach. I couldn't have done any of it without you. Sure you could have, Elijah countered, a smile in his voice. You're Samantha Ray. You can do anything you set your mind to. I'm just lucky enough to be along for the ride. Samantha turned in his arms, looping her own around his neck. I'm the lucky one, she whispered, emotion thickening her voice. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I thank my stars for it every day. Elijah's eyes softened, a wealth of tenderness in their blue depths. You deserve the world, Samantha. And I intend to spend the rest of my life giving it to you. He dipped his head, capturing her lips in a kiss that stole her breath and ignited her blood. Samantha melted into him, into the drugging sweep of his tongue, the intoxicating heat of his body against hers. This, this was what she had fought for, bled for. This love, this unbreakable bond that had been forged in the crucible of adversity. This man who saw her, all of her, and loved her not in spite of her scars, but because of them. When the need for air finally forced them apart, Elijah rested his forehead against hers, his breathing ragged. Marry me, he whispered, the words a plea and a prayer. Samantha's heart stuttered, then soared. Yes, she breathed, tears of joy gathering on her lashes. Yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. Elijah's answering grin was brighter than all the city lights combined. He swept her into his arms, spinning her in a dizzy, giddy circle, their laughter ringing out into the night. When he set her back on her feet, Samantha cupped his face in her hands, marveling at the miracle of him. I love you, Elijah Stone, she said, pouring every ounce of her heart into the words. I love you with everything I am and everything I will be. And I love you, Samantha Ray, Elijah vowed, his voice rough with emotion in this life and the next, and everyone beyond, always and forever. They sealed the promise with a kiss, and another, and another, until the world fell away and there was only this, only them, and the love that had rewritten the stars. But even as joy suffused every cell of Samantha's being, a tiny nugget of unease lodged beneath her breastbone, a final secret waiting to be revealed, her mother's death. The mystery that had haunted her for so long, a shadow in the corners of her memory. She'd pushed it aside in the tumult of the past months, focused on more immediate threats. But now, with her enemies vanquished and her future bright, she knew she could no longer run from the truth. She owed it to herself, to her mother, to lay the ghosts of the past to rest once and for all.